Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to speak about Amendment 1088 that I introduced with Senator Jones. The amendment straightforward provides $5 million to fund centers of excellence at 1819 Land Grant University. Universities. This amendment, I want to underscore this, this amendment includes an offset. Let me tell you why I introduced this. The authorization for these centers of excellence was included in the 2018 Farm Bill. I offered it as an amendment in the Senate Agriculture Committee. It could be critical for schools like Central State, uh, west of Columbus in Ohio. The chairman and ranking member of the Ag Committee supported it. The Senate Majority Leader supported it, as did the chair of the Ag Appropriations Subcommittee. The entire committee supported it. It passed by a voice vote. And then we passed the Farm Bill, sent it to the President. We got 87 votes in this body for the Farm Bill. That's more than ever, I believe, any Farm Bill's ever passed the Senate. These centers will focus on important challenges facing the agriculture sector and its workforce. Mr. President, I'd like to submit for the record a letter of support from Dr. Kent Smith, President of Langston University in Oklahoma, on behalf of the Council of 1890 University Presidents. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. Dr. Smith notes the 1890s have been promised these centers of excellence for 30 years. The Senate needs to act and needs to include my amendment to right this wrong. I remind my colleagues that the 1890 land grants were created because many states, rather than allowing African American students to attend the 1860 land, 1862 land grant universities, decided to set up, in the name of segregation in those days, to set up a separate system of colleges and universities. The 1890s schools, as my colleagues know, despite providing a pathway to the middle class for generations of mostly African American students, have been ignored or at best underfunded since their creation. I've tried to figure out, Mr. President, why my amendment is not just automatically accepted. Again, it was authorized by the Agriculture Committee. It passed the Senate unanimously. It was signed by the President. Why this amendment isn't acceptable? Majority can't be opposed because the House funded this program, because the majority has cleared amendments that duplicate House funding. It can't be because my amendment is too expensive, as the majority, I'm told, is willing to clear a Thune, to clear a Thune Hoven amendment that funds tribal colleges, a good thing, at the same level as my amendment. I've worked with a committee to find an offset for my amendment, and even though the authorization is for $10 million a year, at the committee's urging, I've reduced it to $5 million still, still, Mr. President, for whatever reason, they can't seem clear to support this. I know we would, if this came up to a floor vote, we'd pass it overwhelmingly. I don't know why we need to do that rather than just accept this. I urge my colleagues to include this common sense, fully paid for amendment in the appropriations bill. 